today I'm going to talk about molding chocolate candy in our different candy molds here. And I've just picked a few molds out today, and I have some already made here into the chocolate pieces. And we have solid chocolate, and then I've painted the candy molds, which is very easy, and it's really cute as candy pieces. So the different pieces there, I'm going to show you how to make today. Now, if you see here that I have my different candy chocolate melted, and it's really easy to do, you need to start off with a quality chocolate. And I have milk chocolate here, and then I have the different colors. And all the colors taste like just regular white chocolate except they're um, colored for the, so you can make the cute pieces. Now, if you can see, some of the molds come with ideas, so that makes it a little easier. Now, you don't have to worry about being an artist when you're painting the molds because they're indented, so it gives you a guide. But let's just start off by making a basic chocolate piece of candy. Now this is a candy mold and you do not have to prepare it in any way. You just want to make sure it's good and dry. I like to use teaspoons because they're long and they're small and they're great when you're making candy. Because like on a mold like this, it really doesn't take very much chocolate. So you can just put your chocolate in here. And the thing about it is you want to tap the mold when you're finished filling. Let me do one more here. Now, when you tap the mold on the counter, it does two things. It smooths out the back, and then it releases any air bubbles. So your candy is nice and smooth on the front. So you just give it a tap. And this one, you can see, I just need a little bit more chocolate in it. You just can... Add a little bit and give it another tap. Now, if you can see the chocolate's come out of the mold a little bit, you can actually smooth it out with your finger or a spatula works as well, too, or a knife. Like the back side of a knife, you can actually scrape it and it makes it smooth. So tap it, and now we're ready to go in the freezer. The candy takes about five minutes in the freezer. If you notice, it's nice and shiny here because it's actually sticking to the mold. Whenever you put it in the freezer and you take it out, it's going to release from the mold, so it'll seem a little dull, and that way you'll know it's ready to come out. Okay, let me put this in the freezer. While that's freezing, we're going to go ahead and make one of our cute ice cream cones. And here I did like a yellow cone for vanilla and then I did strawberry with the chocolate. So we're going to start out with our candy mold here and you can see it's indented. So we're going to go ahead and paint. I use these um, paint brushes that don't lose their bristles and they're food safe and those work great. So you can paint the mold. Now you don't have to worry about making the pink solid through the back because if you notice like on our candy sucker here, it's pink on the front but then it's chocolate on the back. So this ice cream cone has dripped down a little bit. And once you think you have it painted enough, you can hold it up to the light and if you see any light shining through the chocolate, that's kind of a weak place and you just want to put a little bit more chocolate in those areas. Okay. We have our pink already. Now we want to take our milk chocolate 
and just put directly on top of your pink chocolate. And you can just take your spoon here, kind of move it around just a little bit more. And then you want to give it a tap. Now to make a sucker, we have our sucker sticks here. And in this candy mold, it has a place for the sucker stick. You want to lay it in there. Now you want to make sure you give it a nice twirl so the sucker stick is encased in chocolate so you don't have to worry about the sucker stick and the sucker falling apart. So you have it nice and smooth on the front with no lumps or little air bubbles. Okay? Now here again we need to put it in the freezer for about five minutes so it will release from the mold. Okay, our first candy that we molded is about, is ready to come out of the mold. Now, a way you can tell is you can turn it over and if you tap it and it doesn't come out, it's not ready. You need to put it back in the freezer for about five minutes. If you can see here, it's still real shiny, so that means it hasn't released from the mold. So if you would force this to come out, then it would be a little bit dull. Instead of that, let's just put it back in the freezer and for a couple more minutes. Okay, so the, I put the candy balls back in the freezer and I'm taking them out. I put them in just for a couple more minutes. Whoops, that one's ready to come out. You can turn it over and they should just come out easily. And then you can see how nice and pretty and shiny the candy pieces are. Now, if you have like a little piece like this, it'll just pop off and just from the heat from your hands will smooth it out. So there are our solid chocolate pieces. Now let's look at our cute little ice cream cone that was we put in the freezer. And it popped out right as well. And you can see how nice and smooth, there's no air bubbles. And remember, tapping the mold will release the air bubbles and it's nice and smooth on the back.